AI robots are evolving at lightning speed, breaking free from labs and stepping into real life, not just in labs, but in the real world. Every month, we're seeing machines that feel almost human. Because one new humanoid, priced at just $1,400, is making engineers question everything they knew about robotics. Meanwhile, Unitree just unveiled the H2, showing movements so lifelike they're actually unsettling people. A Headform's M1 head shocked everyone at IROS, looking too human, smiling like it has emotions. And Caltech? They just dropped a multimodal flying robot, a humanoid that launches a transforming drone. Welcome back, guys. Alfie here. In this week's update, we're diving into every jaw-dropping demonstration, futuristic feature, and cutting-edge tech that's making experts pause, rethink, and admit we're living in a totally different world. All right, let's start with this. A $1,400 AI robot just did the impossible, and the whole thing was caught on camera. Yeah, you heard that right. Noetics Robotics just revealed Boomi, a walking, talking humanoid priced at roughly $1,400. For the first time ever, a robot this cheap isn't just real. It's performing tasks we thought only high-end humanoids could handle. Just a couple months ago, Unitree made waves with its R1 robot, which was only $6,000, and people went crazy thinking we'd never see prices drop that low again. But now Noetics has doubled down. Not a toy, not a pet bot, but a real two-legged humanoid that walks, dances, recognizes faces, and responds to you. And it's doing it all live, not in a simulation. It's around three feet tall and built for education and home use. Something kids can actually code or play with. The company says it's designed to make humanoids accessible to classrooms, families, and hobbyists, breaking down a wall that used to keep everyday people out of robotics entirely. Now, skeptics are already asking, at this price, what's the catch? Well, unlike the $10,000 models that came before it, Boomi keeps things simple. Smaller frame, lighter materials, locally sourced parts. But that's exactly the breakthrough. Because when a $1,400 AI robot can move, react, and perform like this, on camera, it's not just affordable anymore. It's history being rewritten right in front of us. Now let's get to the biggest news of this week the Unitree H2. This is the robot that has everyone talking and honestly a little bit unsettled. Unitree just unveiled their most advanced humanoid yet, and it's dividing people right down the middle. Let's start with what's got everyone uncomfortable. The face. The H2 has this smooth, stylized, almost human face that lives right in the uncanny valley. Unitree dressed it up in actual clothing for the demo video. Suddenly, you're not looking at a robot anymore. You're looking at something that could walk past you in a hallway and make you do a genuine double take. But here's where it gets wild. This thing is packed with 31 motorized joints. That's a 19% increase from their previous model. The demo videos showed it busting out coordinated dance routines and martial arts moves. We're talking pirouettes, high kicks, fluid transitions that look genuinely human. Now here's the really interesting part. The H2 made a deliberate trade-off. The H1 model could sprint at over three meters per second. The H2 sacrificed that raw speed for something more valuable. Dexterity and manipulation. It can wear optional dexterous robotic hands with multiple fingers that let it grip and manipulate objects with scary precision. Factory demonstrations showed it folding clothes without crushing the fabric, weaving wires into panels, and handling delicate assembly tasks. The robot has six degrees of freedom in each leg and seven in each arm. It's got a three degree of freedom waist that lets it twist and bend like a gymnast. The price isn't officially announced, but analysts expect it'll cost well over $100,000. But the tech it's demonstrating today will trickle down to more affordable models tomorrow. And that's what makes this such a big deal. Be honest, are these robots exciting or a little terrifying to you? because the line between cool tech and too real is starting to blur fast. Let me know in the comments where you draw that line. Now let's talk about the biggest visual flex of the week. A Headform's new Origin M1. Just unveiled with a new demo at IROS 2025, one of the world's biggest robotics conferences. The demo instantly became the talk of the event. The M1 responded to people in real time, smiling, blinking, nodding. 
It even held eye contact like an actual human. Every tiny motion, from the way its eyes shifted to the slight twitch of its lips, made it feel eerily alive. This thing is one of the most realistic humanoid faces ever made, and it's got the entire internet both amazed and a little creeped out. The M1 isn't a robot that walks or dances, it's just a head. But the way it moves and reacts feels so human that people are calling it the closest thing to a real face on a machine. In this new demo, the M1's head looks even more human, with smoother, more realistic expressions than the previous video. Instead of loading it with complex tech talk, here's what matters. It looks real. The eyes move naturally, the lips sync with speech, and even the tiny micro-expressions make it seem alive. It can smile, frown, or look curious depending on what it hears, all powered by AI that mimics human emotion. Watching it talk is unsettling because for a moment, you forget it's not a person. Some people called it beautiful, others found it disturbing. That's the uncanny valley effect, when something looks almost human but not quite. What's even crazier is that a head form already built a female version before this, and now the M1 takes it a step further with sharper, more expressive detail. They're not making full humanoid robots yet, they're perfecting the face first. And honestly, that's the hardest part. If a machine can make you feel like it's thinking or feeling, that changes how we see robots forever. If you could have one of these robots in your home, which one are you picking? The $1,400 Boomi, the Super Smooth Unitree H2, or the Creepy Real M1 Head? Drop your choice below. I'm really curious what you think. All right, let's move from the face of the future to the body that might define it. Because next up is Tesla, and what's coming could change the game completely. During the recent Q3 earnings call, Elon Musk dropped major updates about Optimus. Tesla is officially building a production line capable of producing 1 million humanoid robots. Production is expected to start late next year. And the big reveal? Musk confirmed that the next generation, Optimus Gen 3, could arrive as early as next month. That's right, the robot we've all been waiting for might finally step into the spotlight. He said the new version won't just move better, it'll feel almost alive. Musk described it as something so real, you'd have to poke it to believe it's not a person inside a suit. This ties directly into Tesla's long-term vision, a world where humanoid robots are mass-produced just like cars. Unlike most companies that lock their designs before production, Tesla is going all in on rolling updates, constantly improving the hardware and software even after production starts. They're treating robots like software that evolves over time. And the secret weapon? Tesla's vertical integration. While others rely on suppliers, Tesla builds almost everything in-house, giving them control over every nut, bolt, and actuator. The hardest part, according to Musk, is the hand and forearm, building hands that move smoothly and naturally, almost like a real person's. But he's confident they'll solve it soon. Once they do, the scale-up begins. After a million units, Tesla aims for 10 million with Gen 4 and even 50 million with Gen 5. Musk even joked about it being the infinite money glitch. So if the rumors are true and Optimus Gen 3 shows up next month, it won't just be another update, it could be the moment humanoid robots cross from experiment to everyday reality. And that brings us to Lim X Dynamics, who decided to give science fiction a sense of humor. They took their serious research robot TRON1 and turned it into a dinosaur. Yes, really. They covered a bipedal robot in full dinosaur skin and called it Jurassic Mode. The video shows Tron 1 stomping around like it's straight out of a movie, and it's honestly one of the funniest yet most impressive things you'll see this week. But here's what's clever. Behind that playful costume is real innovation. Tron 1 isn't just for show. It's a next-level testbed for balance, motion, and adaptability. In another demo, the robot stood inside a moving truck that was speeding, stopping, and swerving, and it stayed upright the whole time. No wires, no external support, just its own sensors and control system keeping it steady. Limex even built Tron 1 to be open for developers, so researchers can code, test, and deploy new walking behaviors straight from simulation to reality. That means this dinosaur isn't just dancing for laughs, it's teaching the next generation of robots how to move in real-world chaos. 
So sure, Tron 1 in dinosaur mode might not deliver your groceries anytime soon, but it's doing something equally important, reminding us that robotics can be fun, experimental, and still groundbreaking all at once. Next up is something that feels like it was ripped straight from a Transformers movie. Scientists from Caltech and the Technology Innovation Institute in Abu Dhabi have created X1, the world's first multi-robot system that combines a humanoid and a transforming drone. Picture this. A modified Unitree G1 humanoid walks around carrying a robot backpack, the M4 multimodal drone. When the humanoid reaches a tough spot, it bends down and the M4 launches into the air. It flies over obstacles, lands, turns into a wheeled vehicle, and keeps moving to save energy. Then when it hits something like water, it switches back to drone mode and flies across. This tag team setup is what engineers call a system of systems, where different robots work together to do what a single one can't. In their demo, the humanoid walked through a lab, crossed a library, stepped outside, and deployed the drone which flew and rolled its way to an emergency site. But here's the wild part. This isn't just a flashy tech demo. It's the result of three years of research from Caltech's Center for Autonomous Systems and Technologies and the TIY team in Abu Dhabi. The Ames lab at Caltech handled the humanoid's physics-based walking control, while Mori Garib's lab built the M4 drone. The Saluki flight controller designed by TY1 keeps it secure and stable and a team from Northeastern University helped with its transforming design. And get this, the humanoid doesn't walk using pre-recorded motion data. It walks using pure physics, adapting on its own to different terrains and carrying loads like the drone. That means it's learning movement the same way real creatures do. When you combine that with a drone that can both fly and drive, you've got a next-generation rescue robot team, smart, flexible, and ready for the real world. If you're enjoying this, make sure to subscribe we cover every major AI and robot update weekly. Now let's talk about something you probably missed, but you definitely shouldn't have. One X Technologies is teasing a big announcement for October 28th. And this doesn't look like clickbait. Multiple robotics publications are confirming that One X is preparing a new phase for its Neo Gamma humanoid robot. This is likely connected to upcoming home trials or an updated model showcase. One X has been relatively quiet compared to some of the other players in the humanoid space but they've been making steady progress. Neo is designed for home use. It's built to handle tasks like tidying up, fetching items, and assisting with daily routines. And if the October 28th announcement is as significant as the teasers suggest, we could be looking at the first real consumer-facing humanoid that's actually ready for home trials. The hype is building fast. We'll know more in a few days, but if One X is about to roll out home trials, that's a huge milestone because it means we're moving from lab demos to actual deployment in people's houses. That's the end game for humanoid robotics. And One X might just be the first to get there. All right, moving on to Direct Drive Tech and their D1 robot. This thing is wild. They're calling it the world's first fully modular embodied intelligence robot. And the key feature is something called all domain splicing. Basically, the D1 can combine its modules in multiple modes. Wheel leg to wheel leg, leg to leg, wheel leg to leg. You get the idea. It builds a flexible motion system that adapts to different tasks and terrains. The robot can support a maximum load of 100 kilograms in four wheel crawl mode and 80 kilograms in standing mode, which is genuinely impressive. It's also got insane endurance. The tested empty load range is over 25 kilometers with a runtime exceeding five hours in dual wheel leg mode. That kind of battery life is a game changer for outdoor inspection, materials transfer, and service applications. You're not constantly stopping to recharge. It starts with the robot jumping off a moving car, landing smoothly thanks to its articulated legs and multiple degrees of freedom. Then it moves across mountains and sand, showcasing that all domain splicing feature by switching between wheel leg and leg modes for different terrain types. At one point, the robot does a full modular joint reconfiguration, reassembling its wheel leg and leg modules to optimize its structure for what comes next. And then, just when you think it can't get crazier, it does a backflip, a full backflip. That demonstrates impressive agility, balance control, and the power of its direct drive motors. This isn't just a tech demo. This is a robot designed for real-world versatility. 
inspection, service, operations in rough environments, you name it. Direct Drive Tech is positioning this as a solution for general embodied intelligence challenges across various applications, and honestly, the hardware looks ready. Next up, we've got to talk about Sharpa Robotic Hands, which were unveiled at IROS 2025. This is hands down one of the most advanced dexterous hands I've seen. It's got 22 active degrees of freedom with an isomorphic design that mirrors the human hand. That means it can perform basically any task a human hand can do, which is the holy grail of robotics. But here's what makes it special. The robot can actually feel what it's touching and adjust its grip in real time. Now here's the impossible challenge they solved. Combining full-scale strength with rapid movement speed. Most dexterous hands are either strong or fast, but not both. Sharpa delivers over 20 newtons of force at one fingertip while maintaining movement speed above 4 hertz across all gestures. That's the kind of performance you need for high-frequency operations and heavy load grasping. And it's durable. Sharpa was certified through 1 million uninterrupted grip cycles without failure. Every joint is back-drivable, which maximizes resistance to external impacts. It's also got advanced active safety features like compliance control and intelligent protection strategies to prevent damage from accidental operations. For developers, Sharpa delivers a comprehensive cross-platform development suite. There's a proprietary app called Sharpa Pilot for intuitive operations, high-fidelity simulation models, and seamless integration that bridges the gap between research and real-world deployment. This is the kind of hand that could finally unlock true dexterity for humanoid robots. Hands are the hardest part to get right, and Sharpa just raised the bar. Next up, we've got Booster Robotics introducing the K1. They're calling it the future of robotics. Details are still sparse, but the announcement alone has people talking. Booster has been working on advanced locomotion and manipulation systems. And if K1 delivers on the hype, it could be another major player in the humanoid race. We're expecting more details soon, possibly at an upcoming robotics conference or through a full product launch. But the timing is interesting. With so many companies dropping new humanoid models, the competition is heating up fast. Booster needs to show that the K1 brings something unique to the table, whether that's superior dexterity, better endurance, smarter AI integration, or a more competitive price point. The fact that they're teasing it now means they're confident they've got something worth showing. We'll keep an eye on this and bring you the full breakdown when more info drops. Finally, let's wrap with Agibot G2 because this thing is a beast. Agibot just launched their next generation industrial grade humanoid designed specifically for commercial environments. In one demo, the G2 handled a raw egg without cracking it. That's the level of precision we're talking about. The G2 integrates advanced motion systems, multimodal AI interaction, and autonomous operation capabilities. It's got high-performance joint actuators and multiple types of sensors that provide full-scene omnidirectional obstacle avoidance. It's got a three degree of freedom waist that allows human-like bending, twisting, and side swaying. And it's got the world's first cross-shaped wrist force controlled arm with high precision torque sensors distributed across its length. Those sensors detect external forces in real time and adjust motion through impedance control for smoother, more natural operations. The robot has a dual battery hot swappable system and autonomous charging capability. It can operate 24 seven without interruption. That's critical for production lines that never stop. And it uses a rapid deployment tool chain so even non-specialists can configure and deploy it quickly. What sets the G2 apart is its combination of embodied intelligence and advanced AI systems. Unlike traditional industrial robots that perform pre-programmed one-way operations, the G2 emphasizes adaptive interactive performance powered by Agibot's proprietary large models. The G2 has undergone over 130 component tests and environmental trials, including temperature extremes from negative 15 to 50 degrees Celsius. It's been deployed in automotive parts manufacturing and consumer electronics precision production. And it's already proving that industrial humanoids are ready for real work right now.